Hello to my wonderful YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel Learn IT, your go-to channel for all service now updates. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you never miss on the latest updates in service now. So today we are diving into one of the feature in the service now Zurich release for which uh, the showcase has been done already from service now so whether you are an admin developer or an architect this demo is just for you so let's not waste time and let's get into the action again so we have logged into zurich release of service now and i want to showcase you another feature that is like colorful form messages so i will show you how we can do that so there are few basic uh, uh, glide system or glide form apis which is launched in zurich release so i will show you how we can utilize and use in our client script and as well as in server side script all right so let's move further now what i will do is like i will take an incident form or i will take a problem form basically for just uh, doing some showcase so I will click on open problem and suppose I will take any of the problem. All right. So I have. So this is the problem. And now what I will do is like I will try to create a client script for this problem table. So let me duplicate this form. All right. Now I will configure and click on client script. Now. I will click on new all right so this is the new new form for a client script now I will write test colorful messages all right now let's add some onload client script and now I will type g form dot add low message okay and now I will type gray colored message box gray colored message box all right let's try to save and see what is our result okay now i will reload this problem form and i will see whether our onload client script executed or not yeah it's executed now we can see we have our gray colored message box displayed here so similarly there are others as well so let me try to show you again so previously it used to be sh showing uh, this color box like how i am hovering it so it it used to be this uh, display message like this this color message all right so i will show you how it was earlier you will clearly know the add So here we will find the difference clearly okay this is old info message i will click on save button and now i will reload this form again and now we will see how old message used to be dis displayed so it used to display in blue color basically any other options was not there so right now we have seen the gray colored box now similarly we will try to use other methods okay now we have add low message we have moderate message add moderate message and moderate message will be showing on lavender color 
right so this is quite interesting and we have high message add high message gform dot add high message add success message so you might have known already how these color will display so this will be displayed as yellow this will be displayed as green okay now i will show you how it display and you will see the clear difference how better we can try to utilize form messages using client script so currently i have displayed using client script we can utilize it as a, a server side script as well so right now i have to scroll it for green because there was no space that's why it's showing five messages there first one is default one other four are the new methods which is uh, launched as part of client side and as part of server side also so client side i have shown you how it displayed now let me try to showcase how it displays using server side scripts right so let's move further and try to write uh, some business rule on this and we will see how it executes in server side so i will try to click on business rule and i will click on new button basically all right so i will click display color message info okay now i'll click on advanced section and under advanced section i will click on display and i will go to advanced part and now i will try i have copied a similar thing only what is the difference here instead of g form instead of g form we will write gs okay instead of g form i will write gs instead of g form i will write gs similarly here and similarly this one and now i will save it all right and we will see how it displayed earlier and how it will be displaying right now okay in zurich version basically so now let's try to reload this problem form again and you see the result we have result yellow colored box lavender colored message box gray colored message box green colored and this is the old info message right so we can see how better look is created for this one right so green colored gray colored lavender yellow right so this way we will be able to display the message using client side and server side apis so this is launched as part of zurich version of service now right so this is quite cool and interesting uh, new features for displaying messages in various colors right so this is all about on today's feature of zurich release so there is a quick pro tip as well so on the tip side we have like if you are planning to upgrade your instance to zurich version make sure you test lots of feature in sub prod instance and then try to upgrade your production instance while you have done the testing on sub prod instances why i am telling that because there might be some modules for which there will be a dependency on zurich release features or updates all right so this wraps up my quick demo of certain feature in zurich release version all right so next session we will be having a look on to other feature of zurich release all right and if you find this video helpful please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it all right until next time keep growing keep learning 
and keep exploring the Zurich version of ServiceNow. So this is Learn IT with Prashant signing off for the today. Thank you very much.